Welcome back to another Lightning Collection video. We're going to be looking at the Lightspeed Rescue Blue Ranger, which again, the UK didn't get. We didn't get a few of the others, uh, which is very frustrating. RPM Yellow Red Turbo, very annoying. But here we are, we have the Lightning Collection. We see that we have him right there, which looks really, really cool. It says Lightspeed Rescue Blue Ranger. On the back, we get basically just the effects, some of the weapons, two hands and a helmet. And then we get it really nice artwork right there. On the top is just blue. And on the bottom, it just says hands-free packaging and stuff like that. Is it hands-free? Plastic-free packaging, which is a bit of a pain. Anyway, let's open up this bad boy and have a look inside. And here we go. Here is the actual figure. When I was kind of trying to set him up to stand up, his feet have that weird locking thing where if it's not in the right place, it's just absolutely everywhere, which really annoys me. And also, he's a lot lighter in the packaging than he is here. It's a dark blue. And I always thought that maybe it was more of a lighter blue, but looking at it, I'm not 100% sure. But if I'm wrong, let me know below in uh, later, let me know below in the comments. But I really like the design. I love the fact that the white and the blue work really, really well. Maybe this is a better color than having a light blue version of him. You have the belt buckle right there. Really, really nice. Kind of like that. On the side of his arms, you, on his like cuffs, you have the light speed rescue uh, symbol right there and there. And even on his feet as well, like on his boots. I think that works really, really nicely. On the back is just plain blue, so I'm guessing that there wasn't any sort of logo, which is a bit kind of eh, but you know, I'm kind of digging it. But yeah, it's just a really dark blue that I don't think, I think it should just be in a lighter blue. His face looks a bit off to me, kind of looks like the actor, but kind of doesn't at the same time. I don't, I don't know why. But yeah, like the gold works well. Everything looks really nice on the figure. Let's swap over to his helmet to see how that is. His helmet looks absolutely fantastic on this. I'm not a huge fan of Lightspeed, but the costumes look absolutely fantastic. I don't know, for me personally, I don't know if this, the white is completely correct. Is it a bit on or is it like standard? Is it off? Let me know down below in the comments. But yeah, the helmet looks phenomenal. I love this. I think the helmet design looks spot on to me and it really kind of makes this figure. I love the white. I love the black. I just think it's a really nice figure. And I really wish that we got all of Lightspeed because I feel like that would have been absolutely perfect. But the helmet is now on. It is not coming off. So yeah, it's going to go back in the box shortly. Let's do the articulation test. Now the, the feet lock in, which is really frustrating. You normally have to align them perfectly for it to work, but it just generally irritates me. So I'm not going to try. Man, this is a stiff figure this is for some strange reason. Yeah, man, like trying to like sort that out. Like it's, it's so weird that some figures are perfect and some aren't. So the legs move a little bit, they're kind of restricted a bit. Moves up and down, it clicks, which is a thing. Arms go, oh, like the arms are really smooth, that one is anyway. And then we've got the hand that turns around, or the fist, should I say. And then that one does as well, but it feels like it's gonna move that one. Helmet is fine, turns around perfectly like so. Yeah, but yeah, not bad for what it is. As you know, you get the head with the figure and obviously the helmet, as you can see there. We have two hands. Okay, they're not the same, which is great. We have the gun, which it looks okay. Like there's not much detail they can put on. Like why couldn't they put, obviously it's two there, if you can, if you can see. Why didn't they just put it on the other side? It feels like it's just a one painted. So I'm not quite sure on the name of this one, but I, I kind of think it's really cool. So I don't know why it says like number two there. I thought that it would be on both sides, but maybe that's just the one in the actual like series itself. But it's kind of really cool. If you know what this is, let me know down below in the comments. And then obviously you get your lighting collection piece, which I absolutely hate. 
but there you go that's what it looks like on top of there but yeah that's that's really it and there we go there is lightspeed blue he is a really nice figure don't get me wrong i think it's a really nice start to lightspeed I really wish we had more of them because just seeing this one figure looks absolutely spot on. And as much as I'm not a big fan of it, I probably would just collect the entire range because to me, this is a really nice figure. Now, the only downside I could probably say to this one is the fact that the feet are locked and that's annoying as hell. And I don't feel like I should have to go get a hairdryer to kind of like heat it up so it kind of melts a little bit so I can easily move it. Um, I don't think that should be a thing. Um, I feel like the figure should be a lighter blue for some strange reason, but you know, I think it kind of works well. The figure is a, a nice mold. I, I can't fault it apart from the feet, but I generally like this. The accessories I feel is just the right amount. I just really wish that we got more of the, like the others as well. Like even if they did pink or yellow, I feel like that would be a really nice addition right now. But yeah, this figure is a nice one. What do you think about this? Would you get this figure or not? Let me know down below in the comments. I am gonna leave it there. If you wanna help out the channel, then hit that like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And also if you're feeling a little bit extra generous, why not have a look at the Patreon as well as the channel memberships? And why not pick up a t-shirt in the merch store for yourself? Anyway, I am gonna leave it there. Thank you very much for listening and watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. I wanna say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters, and I wanted to shout out Kimona Cat, Cura Sonata. Your help goes a long way to help support the channel, and if you wanna help support the channel, the links to my Patreon and channel memberships are listed below in the description. お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。